Hello everybody! The video about General Kornilov was inspired by Russia's uh, recent events, Wagner Group leader Prigozhin insurgency. As you may know, Prigozhin left his positions in Ukraine on June 24, 2023 and marched toward Moscow in order to bring order in the Ministry of Defense. Analytics started to call his military revolt similar to Kornilov's coup d'etat, which happened 100 years ago. So I would like to come back and look at Kornilov's unsuccessful attempt. Kornilov's coup d'etat, which took place in August 1917, was an unsuccessful attempt of installing military dictatorship in Russia. On July 19, 1917, Kornilov became a supreme commander. Army loved him, other generals gave him good characteristics. Kornilov was brave, honest, and patriotic. Lavor Kornilov originated from Cossacks, who were more a social class in Russia rather than ethnicity. I will make a video about them, but for now, you can read or watch a movie and Quiet Flows the Dawn, which describes their life. Kornilov finished artillery school and in 1897 came to Mihailov Military Academy. Academy accepted only the best of the best, so Kornilov was considered as a promising officer. After, he went to China to work in intelligence service. Also, he learned Chinese language. Kornilov participated in the Russo-Japanese War and was honored as a hero. When the First World War started, Kornilov commanded an infantry. In 1915, he was captured and a year after, he ran away. In March 1917, Kornilov was appointed as a commander of Petrograd, and in April he held the order in the city during the demonstrations. In May 1917, Kornilov went back to the front to command the army. As I mentioned, in July he became a supreme commander, sending General Brusilov to resignation. July was a tough month for Russian army. They attempted to counterattack Germans, ending up in the unnecessary bloodshed. As Russian army lost in the battle, Germans occupied Riga. From Riga to Petrograd was 600 kilometers. The distance made German army a real threat. Temporary government was threatened, spreading chaos in the city. So, in August, Kornilov decided to revolt against temporary government, which was rapidly losing popularity and authority among people. Temporary government was under control of Kerensky after February Revolution in 1917. Kornilov put an ultimatum to Kerensky to give all power to him and install the regime of insurgency in Petrograd. Kerensky was writing to him, in those horrible minutes of existing of motherland, when the road to the capital is open, temporary government forgets the most important question about existence of independent state. It is focused on putting a fear about counter-revolution, which they, by their own inability to manage, their own weakness and hesitation to actions, urge to happen. On August 25th, Kornilov ordered General Krimov to take his division and march to Petrograd. His goals were to occupy the city and oppress Bolsheviks. At the same time, Kornilov stated that he took all responsibilities and power. Kerensky called him a traitor. Krimov was unable to enter Petrograd. The army moved too slow and Bolsheviks' agitators started to make soldiers doubting. The railway workers also refused to help the army. So, General Krimov stayed near Petrograd. Kerensky called him for negotiations. There is no evidence how the negotiations proceeded, but the same night Krimov was dead, presumably shot himself. Soon after, Kornilov and his generals were arrested and imprisoned. But after October Revolution, Kornilov was released and joined the White Army. He was killed on March 31, 1918, during the assault of Krasnodar. His coup d'etat should have made Russia stronger and more stable, in his opinion. But its failure just showed temporary government inability to keep an order and led to Bolshevik Revolution in October. 
In my opinion, Cornelius' revolt cannot be compared to Prigozhin's, starting from the reasons, domestic situation, war conditions, and the figure of the leader. Please share your opinion whether Cornelius' coup d'etat is similar or different to Prigozhin's insurgency. I will check it in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.